Hello everyone. Today we are going to investigate how the concept of waiting for salvation is used by oppressive regimes in order to keep masses in control. Throughout history, humankind has always needed a savior figure and a concept of salvation day in order to bear the difficulties and burden of life. A savior figure who would save the good from evil and then let the promised times shine upon the victors. Until the day of salvation, people will wait with hope, but what will happen after salvation, or apocalypse, or both? It is only a matter of perspective how an individual or society looks at events. The ones who believe that the anger of God is released on them will start waiting for the day of salvation, and the ones who believe they have been rescued start wondering if one day apocalypse will reappear. All people can do in the meantime is wait for the day to come or try to bring it themselves. At the end, the waiting itself gives meaning to the end. Everything you do during that time is only a part of the waiting. In his Hugo Award-winning science fiction book, The Man in a High Castle, Philip K. Dick pictures an alternate future in which Nazi Germany and Japanese Empire won World War II and shared the United States with a buffer zone around Rocky Mountains. In the Japanese Empire, individuals and ruling class become pacifists and take decisions based on the ancient oracle book, I Ching. They do not take action. They just interpret the I Ching's so-called wise words and wait for the events to unfold, even when the trade minister Mr. Tagomi tries to get some answers before his meeting with Mr. Baines about importing raw materials and plastics from Sweden instead of the Reich. The Empire is not trying to race with the greater Nazi Reich in science, technology, armaments or modern art. They are lost in the midst of the past. Not only the Japanese but also white men under their rule do not take action against anything. Instead, they also search for answers in I Ching and thus their only action becomes waiting. One of the characters, Frank Frink, swore to take revenge of 1947, Capitulation Day, and hid his weapons with usable conditions for the day he and his comrades rise against the Empire. Surprised by himself now, he believes that time is a great healer, says Dick. High Japanese officials at Pacific Seaboard America collects old American artifacts from milk bottles to old magazines and Civil War objects even when many of them are imitations produced by Americans to make some money. Japanese are oriental people, says Dick. Japanese people entered the war to guarantee their access to natural resources, which they do not have at their island. They have waited and fought for victory, but after the victory came it meant nothing anymore. Now, they are waiting for the day the ever-expanding greater Nazi Rai turns its apocalyptic weapons against themselves with their inactive natures. On the other hand, Nazis can shape the future by science and technology and their dedication to hard work until a task is done right. First, they landed on the moon, then Mars, as it is mankind's desire since its existence, a glory which can only be dreamed of until now, says Dick. Mr. Baines, a Swedish businessman, thinks about the New World Order during his trip to San Francisco with the latest supersonic Lufthansa rocket. Their view, it is cosmic, not a man here, a child there, but an abstraction. Race, land, folk, land, blood, era. Not of honorable men, but of era itself. Honor. The abstract is real. The actual is invisible to them. The gute, but not good men, this good man. It is their sense of space and time. They want to be the agents, not the victims of history. They identify with God's power and believe they are godlike, says Dick. The Nazis came to power with promises of restoring the honor of Germany and bringing wealth to the nation. First a political party, then a nation, then half the world, says Dick. They overcame the economic crises, built the world's greatest military with their hard work and industry and conquered Lebensraum, a living space for their future. The salvation day that they have waited for so long had come and they were saved by their savior. They have wiped out the Jews, gypsies and Bible students from Reich. They have exterminated all African aborigines in just 15 years. They have dried the Mediterranean in order to obtain more fertile soil. Their messiah, Adolf Hitler, has fulfilled the prophecy and saved the nation. So from now on there cannot be an end savior or a day of salvation for it has come. Therefore Nazis rely on abstract concepts more than ever. If they ever saved, they have become honorable, good men and women, which means these concepts are meaningless now. You cannot rule masses without making them wait for something. After salvation, if something to wait isn't given to masses, they will start waiting for the apocalypse. And in the end, Nazis emphasize the abstract concepts because humankind cannot ever reach the pure abstract itself. They have created an eternal interval of waiting, and meanwhile, they set accomplishable objectives like reaching to Mars or invading more neutral zones in the world, because reaching milestones on the eternal journey keeps people away from frustration. 
At the neutral zone, the Rocky Mountain states, some people see Reich as the white man's greatest achievement, a prosperous state. They are waiting for the day Nazi rule comes to their state. Some people, like Juliana Frink, believe Reich is the pure form of evil, and Japanese empire is more humane. These people wait for the day democracy comes, but they haven't got the slightest idea what will happen next, or what democracy will change compared to now. The truck drivers who deliver commodities to and from buffer zones see both rules and they think that the buffer zone is a place without law, prosperity, science or progress, straight out of the dark ages. Lady, it is bad enough to have to spend one day or one night in a town like this, live here, Christ, says Dick. There isn't much difference between people regarding where they live in the greater Nazi Reich, the Japanese Empire or the neutral zone. They are all in some sort of waiting. Their actions and environments differ in some ways, but at the end of the day, the waiting itself gives meaning to everything. The action itself is to wait.